This evening, a vote was expected on about $5 million in budget cuts for the Vigo County School Corporation. But this vote has been delayed after members of the school board say they still have some questions they want answered. Demetrius Sanders has been following this story. He joins us now with what school members would like to see before that decision is made. Demetrius. Sadie Mike, in November, Vigo County voters passed an operational referendum to help the school corporation with a dwindling cash balance. Now, in addition to the referendum, the school corporation committed to making at least $4 million in budget cuts themselves. Now, after receiving a proposal on these cuts from Superintendent Hayworth, the school board says they may need some more time before making a decision. In October of last year, Vigo County Schools Superintendent Rob Hayworth presented a proposal to cut around $5 million in spending for the corporation. Through his proposal, these cuts would include redesigning alternative education, changing the corporation's bus replacement plan, and school consolidation. When you think about the setting up of a committee that's going to look at school closure, uh, the uh, emotional issues surrounding the closing of schools, uh, that's not anything to be taken lightly. These cuts are pending approval from the Vigo County School Board. Monday, a vote was expected, but it was later postponed as members of the board look for more information. We just had a few more questions, and so we decided that it was best uh, to make an informed decision. As the school board comes to a decision, Irwin says they want to make sure they are doing what's best for Vigo County Schools. I think we're going to evaluate everything. I think we, we just want to make sure that we're doing what's best for the students. And Hayworth says in the coming weeks, he hopes to provide answers to the questions the school board may have. This is something that I don't know if we would have unanimous support for, but they're significant. I'm trying to uh, hopefully bring them all the information that they can uh, make the right answers and, and hopefully have a unanimous vote on this issue. Hayworth's plan calls for spending cuts to be made in three phases, and this evening, Irwin says the school board could approve cuts phase by phase to make way for any changes. Mike. All right, thank you, Demetrius. Also coming out of tonight's meeting, some members of the new school board have new positions. Uh, former Terre Haute North teacher Hank Irwin was voted in as the board's new president. ISU Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs Susan Powers was selected as the vice president, and former school board president Jackie Lauer will now serve as secretary.